Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today we'll talk about RxJS operators. What are the operators? What are the different types of operators that are available? Why do we need them? What are the most important one? Do we need to really master the entire RxJS operators? Or are there any specific ones that you should look at, etc, etc. Because the idea is not to learn. The idea is to learn and apply it in your applications. And that's what my focus of this particular series is also. That being said, let's get started. This is part four of the series where we are learning about operators. Uh, please do check out, check out the entire tutorial playlist. I'm planning close to 30, 35 tutorials in this series uh, covering all the major operators. Please do subscribe and ask your doubts in comment section. This is the part four where we are learning about operators. If you are new to this particular tutorial, please do check out the previous episode where we talked about observables. We created observable, we learned to subscribe them and the basics of observable. That is very important going forward. So let's talk about operators. What are RxJS operators? Operators are very important part of RxJS. RxJS library provides a lot of useful operators which helps us write clean code, reduce a lot of effort in writing custom logic, right? which actually leads to many bugs to be precise. For example, if you have to write your own set interval, set timeout, debounce time, etc., there would be a lot of logic that you will write on your own. But RxJS operators are nothing but pure methods, right? They are functions which does a certain functionality for us. And they are inbuilt, which means you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. We'll learn about those operators going forward and implement them in detail. Just understand that an operator is nothing but it's just a pure function, right? And often these are, these questions are asked in interviews also. Like, what do you what are the what what do you mean by RxJS operators? What is a pure function? And much much more. So as part of this, start preparing in your mind if you are preparing for interview also. So operators are very important part of RxJS. Operators are nothing but pure functions. What is a pure function? A pure function means it will always return the same value when a certain input is passed. For example, if you pass the same input to it, to a method, the output will remain the same all the time. And that is what is called as a pure function. A pure function will never have any side effects, right? For example, there is no changes or modification. If you pass an input, the output will always be same. For example, let's say you're passing, um, say, addition, right? Addition of two numbers. A and B are the parameters you're passing. If you pass 10 and 20 as input, the output will always be 30, right? And that is an example of a pure function. Every time you pass 10 and 20 as the input, the output will always be 30, right? That means our operators are built in such a way that when you pass an input, the output will always remain same if the input is same, right? So that being said, rem remember that most of the RxJS operators, I said most, not all, most operators will take an observable as an input and give output as an observable, okay? This may sound little tricky to our beginners, but trust me, stay with me on this series you will be able to master RxJS and that's my guarantee to you. So let's talk about now types of operators, right? So what are the different types of operators? We have a different types of operators that RxJS provides. We have some for creating an observable, right? Ob so we saw in the last episode, we created an observable, right? By from scratch, but we don't have to do that all the time. There are different methods or operators that are provided which can help us create observables. There are mathematical operators which will help us do mathematical operations. Then we have join. This is one of the most important and most frequently used ones. Um, joining different observables that you get. Uh, some of them are switch map, merge map, uh, combine latest and etc. We'll see that. Uh, there are certain things like transformation, we have filtering, we have utility, conditional, multicasting, error handling, and much, much more, okay? Uh, like I say, my advice to you is you do not need to master all the operators that are there, okay? 
you just need around 20 10 15 20 operators and to start with if you master those 10 15 20 operators you will have the basic understanding that any operator you would be able to learn further okay in most enterprise applications or real time applications you would mostly use this 15 20 operators only okay if you are an expert level so i will help you with those 20 25 operators that are there that are frequently used most used in real time enterprise applications and if you know those 15 20 operators you are good to use rxjs like a master but again like i said stay with me do not jump the gun stay with me on the course stay with me on this playlist i will make sure each operator i'll explain it to you with real time use cases and help you master it if you are not sure about certain things if you get confused please do drop your doubts no matter how stupid or dumb you think they are please ask me i'll be able to help you all right so that being said i this is just an introductory um um I thought I'll just talk about the operators for you. Uh, the next one is uh, where we actually start using the operators. We'll see the off operator first and then on we'll start building on top of it. Right. Uh, I hope I'm making RxJS much easier, cleaner, simple for you. Um, that's my end goal of this particular series. That is what will be my achievement. If you understand RxJS, that will be my achievement. Thank you again for joining today. Um, if you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Please do subscribe to this channel so you get updates on all the RxJS um, tutorials that I'm posting. Uh, I'll try and post uh, daily so that we cover it in a good span of time. Thank you again for joining. See you in the next episode. We will start learning about operators. The first operator we are learning is off operator. Thank you for joining.